Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Dinosaur Island, which is a game all about building your own dinosaur theme park. I'm playing a solo game today, Little Glass Marty is going to help me out, but you should be able to get the idea of a game with more players anyway. Just imagine there's more of this going on. So I start the game off with one dinosaur paddock and it has one in there. It's an Alberta Dromius. Yeah. People are going to pay to see that. It's generating one level of excitement for me. So the things that change for the solo game, we have a round tracker. So there's going to be seven rounds in the game. I have seven objectives. Ideally, I want to achieve one of those objectives every round. The sooner I achieve them, the more points they'll be worth. And if I don't achieve one in, the, in a certain round, I have to discard one. And I'll get a special bonus at the end of the game if I can go through the entire game without discarding any. And I'll just quickly mention my Patreon page, which is now live. I can only keep making these playthroughs and top tens and all of these sorts of things because of the support of the viewers of the channel. And if you enjoy what I do and are able to and fancy it, then I would love it if you could head over to the Patreon page and check out what we've got going over there and consider contributing and keeping everything still going. Oh, before I forget, I recommend you turn on Klingon subtitles because if I've made any mistakes, they will be noted up there for you, hopefully. Let's go on to the first round then and the first phase of the game. Okay, so the first thing that happens is we have these DNA dice. In the solo game, we just have five of them and it's kind of simulating a two-player game. We roll them and they're going to give us the chance to get various resources throughout the game. Then we need to draw one of the set aside solo objective cards. And instead of looking at the objective at the top here, we need to get rid of certain things. So this tells us we need to get rid of die number two. So that's going to be this one. And we need to remove dinosaurs in the one and three spaces. We also need to remove some of the tiles from phase two, but you'll see those in phase two. So now I have three scientists and they can be used to either get resources from the dna dice usually dna that can be used to make more dinosaurs i can get dinosaur recipes species of dinosaurs to go in my park for those i have to use particular scientists so i'd have to use my number two over there i can increase my cold storage which is kind of my limit for the dna that i can have which isn't very high at the start of the game or i can pass and then use my scientist as a worker later on in a future phase of the round. I actually think I'd like to start off getting some DNA. Now the values on my scientist tiles multiply the resources I would get. So if I want some of this purple DNA, I could just send my level one scientist there and one times two gets me two of that DNA. And so if we look at the player board, I just got two purple DNA and I can move up here. This is my cold storage limit. So it's why I might want to spend scientists to be able to get more DNA at once. I think I would like to increase my cold storage as well. Using my three means I basically get three steps on my limits to move them up. So I can decide what's getting increased. Now later on, I'm definitely going to want this advanced DNA to be a lot higher. But early on, I think... I think I'm just going to go for one step each on the basic DNA. Finally, with my two, I don't think I'm going to go for a dinosaur recipe yet. I think I'm going to get some of that blue DNA. So two times one is going to be two blue. Well, dark blue, I guess I should say. One, two. There we go. Okay, now I am finished with choosing dice. You need to take the one with the most pips on it, so this one's got three, and put it in the threat level area. This is going to be added to our threat level, and three is bad. I potentially should have taken some more purple DNA, but yeah, that's, that's going to add three to our threat level and potentially be a problem for us. Now we can move on to phase two. Here it is. And you'll notice the two gaps are from where the solo card told me to take things away from. So you basically get two goes in phase two for anything on display here. You'll see there are rows, $2, three, four, $5. And you can get the action that's listed here. So I could pay $2 to gain any two basic DNA. Then I have to discard something from that row. I can just get any one of the actions. 
I can get one of these technology tiles and these give me places to put my workers in phase three and get some benefits. So increase the security level of my park at no cost. Usually it's going to cost money to do that. Score double points for patrons at any one attraction this round. Be some nice things. We can get some attractions. So rather than just the dinosaurs, we can have, you know, merchandise or rides or food places. And there we do have objectives to have one of each type. And there is one for three merchandise. So maybe I want to buy a merchandise one, seeing as it's pretty cheap. We also have specialists that we can buy, the pink cards, and they will give us special bonuses for the rest of the game. So the senior scientist up there gets you any one advanced DNA at the start of every round that can be really good for getting a load of dinosaurs. This lab manager down here increases your cold storage for one DNA type every round and also gives you an extra worker for the rest of the game. So I get two choices to make here. And in the usual game, you would go once and then go around and then you'd get a second choice. I'm going to go for the merchandise store because we want three of them eventually to complete an objective. So getting one would be a good start now, I think. So the cost of these attractions is the amount printed on them. So five plus the row that they're in. So five plus two is seven. I start the game with 15 money. So I grab the costume shop and I just need to put it somewhere in my park. And that's going to earn me three points at the end of the game. Back to phase two. There are a couple of other things that I can get. I can upgrade my dino research so that the normal one, you can do it once with one worker, create a dinosaur. And the second time you do it, it costs two workers, whereas this dino research two is a worker each time. And you can do it three times in one round. And the same thing for DNA refinement here. Usually you can only do it once. The upgraded version would let you do it three times in a round. I think because security is a worry, because of the high value on that die that's been left over, I'm actually going to pay four and get this groundkeeper shack to increase my security level by one at no cost. It's just a passive thing that it does. And then I can treat my security level as plus one for this round. Okay, now we move on to phase three, which is the worker placement portion of the game. So we have these spaces and an extra one that I have bought. We have DNA refinement, where you basically turn basic DNA into advanced DNA. You can only do it once per round, though. There's just space for one worker. Create a dinosaur by following the recipe. I only have this recipe. It's just two basic DNA, but it's not a particularly exciting dinosaur. Just one excitement level there. And the first time I create a dinosaur, it costs one worker. Second time, it costs two workers. Can't do it any more times than that. Unlimited number of workers, I can upgrade paddock capacity, and that costs money to do that. The capacity is just one for when you just get the recipe. And you can increase your security level by one by paying as well. And you really need to do that because my threat level is going to be one plus the three pips on that die that was left over earlier. So it's going to be four right now before I even add a dinosaur. And that means that people are going to die that come to my park. And we really don't want the dinosaurs eating the guests. So that's something to think about. This one, as you just saw it, lets me increase my security by one at no cost. And then if I have a worker here, I can treat my security level as plus one. So it's just a, a temporary fix. But if I don't have the money, that uh, might be really necessary. And I can do venture capital and just collect money from the bank, depending on where I put my worker. Three, two, or one cash. So what do I want to do? I can increase the security level at by one at no cost, then it's still two levels too low. So I could, I have six money left. I could increase the level. So that's going to cost me two because that's what it's next to there. So now I have a security level of three. I could. Yeah, this is just going to be about security because I shouldn't have left that die over. Hmm. Maybe it'll set, it'll set me up with a high security level for later in the game, though. Because I would like to increase paddock capacity, get another dinosaur. That's no good if uh, people are dying from coming to my park, though, is it? So, yeah, we'll pay another two. So I only have two money left right now. And we go up there. So without adding any dinosaurs, we are 
Yeah, we've we've met the threat level. There's going to be there's going to be no guests eaten. I think I should come here and get three money from the bank, and I'm actually just going to get two more money. I think so I have a bit more to go into the next round with. Next, we have phase four where we attract visitors. This is where the great big bag comes in, the bag of visitors. We draw out visitors equal to our excitement level, which at the moment is just one. I have one dinosaur and its excitement level is one. So that attracts one visitor to the park. And it can be a patron, which is gold like this, which is brilliant. Or it could be a hooligan who is pink and is a pain because they don't pay to get into your park. So everybody gets placed at the entrance and you earn a dollar per patron. And then you need to arrange where they're going to go. So there can only be one guest for each dinosaur. I do have this little hat stand where people can go to as well. So let's, let's have him looking at the dinosaur and he's basically scoring me a point. And we can see here my excitement level and victory points. I'm now going up to 11. Oh, we do actually need to check first about our threat level and security level just because your guests aren't going to score you any points if they've been eaten so my threat level is one plus the three on the dice it's four my security level is four so nobody gets eaten and i do still score that point point. and step five is cleanup so now everything that's in the two dollar row gets discarded everything else slides up then we refill it with new stuff if there are any dinosaur recipes missing, you turn over the top one of each stack. Everyone gets their scientists and workers back. Visitors get removed and put back in the bag. And then finally, we have these plot twist cards. Two are drawn and they last throughout the game and change the rules a little bit. And I quite like them. <laughs> They're quite beneficial this time around. You can choose to not have them in the solo game. So we have at the end of each round, each player chooses one of the following bonus. Increase security level by one, upgrade paddock capacity by one, or gain two basic DNA. I think since security is going to start costing three, I'm going to go for the security. And then each player may increase cold storage limits by one for a single DNA type. So I'm going for that free security upgrade. And I think I will increase... Let's go for one of the advanced DNA. Then we can look at the objectives and see if we achieved any. So we have earn $8 from patrons in a single round. No. Build an attraction of each type. No. Buy three lab upgrades. Well, I've got one. Create three dinosaurs in a single round. Create dinosaurs of three species, not including your starting one. Build three merchandise attractions. All no's, but make sure no patrons were eaten this round. We have achieved this. And for doing it in round one... I get 10 points. So we're now on 21. And you can complete multiple objectives in a round as well. So it's in your interest to try and race through these. For now though, we're going to be moving on to round two. Okay then, so let's see what we roll. And oh wow, some triple DNA dice. Just don't think I'm going to have the capacity for those. Let's see. Okay, so the card is going to tell me to take away dice one and four. Dinosaur 3, and the $4 lab upgrade and specialists. Okay, we do want different species of dinosaur. Unfortunately, none of the light blue DNA has come out. I think I'm going to... I'm still going to spend my one scientist on getting a new dinosaur type. So the area for the dinosaur has to go in somewhere. There we go, the Ankylosaurus. Now I think I'm going to spend my three scientists increasing cold storage again, so I've got some more space for things. Because it was my three scientists, I can do three things. So I'm going to go for one. What else should I do? One, two, three, I think. And then finally, I'm going to use scientist number two to take this blue DNA, now that's just going to get me two, whereas I could, I could, I've only got space for three, so I couldn't get the full six, but I could fill myself up with this, but this one's got the threat level three on it, and I think I want to get rid of that. So one of these is going to become the threat level, two pips, but I do get myself uh, two blue DNA. So I've got a fair bit of DNA now, and we can go on to phase two. Okay then, what am I going to do here? My biggest problem is going to be money. 
I have one, two, three, four, five, eight money. And maybe I want to save some of that for paddocks and stuff. So all of the attractions are out of my league right now. They're way too expensive. I think I'm going to gain any three basic DNA because I need that light blue DNA, don't I? I need to discard something from the $3 row. So let's do the clever grill. And I'm just going to take all light blue. And then finally, because I like increasing my limits and I want more workers, I am going to spend... Yeah, I'm only going to have two left over. I'm going to spend another three on this lab manager, who also, once per round, increased my cold storage limits by one. So I'll get to use that as well. So while I'm at it, let's increase the storage limit for purple. Once per round. Okay, then phase three. And I've zoomed out a little bit so that you can see the recipe as well on the dinosaurs. So we definitely want to get one of those dinosaurs, don't we? And then we'll worry about the security in a minute. I need a green, so we need to do some DNA refinement. To get green, we need to spend a light blue and a dark blue. Boom, boom, and that gets us a green. Then we want to create a dinosaur. So that's going to be light blue, dark blue, green. Spent. And I can grab a dinosaur. Oh, the paddock isn't quite on screen, is it? I can grab a dinosaur for there. I assure you there's one in there. So now we have two workers left. I want to increase paddock capacity and start getting more dinosaurs in there. But we have to think about security now, because Arthur, that's a herbivore. Because it's got one dot next to it, so we need to increase our base threat level. So that with the dice is going to be four. We're fine for security, we don't have to worry about that at all. But we do get to increase it by one at no cost. Yeah, I can increase paddock size, but then I can't... Create another dinosaur because I need two for that. So let's, yeah, let's upgrade paddock capacity. Let's zoom out a little bit. Now these cost, to go from a size one paddock to a size two, it costs you two, which is my last money, unfortunately. And I, I might as well do that to the Ankylosaurus. There is space for getting another one next round. Now I have one worker left and no money. I think I might as well collect three from the bank. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't collect my extra worker. Okay, we do have a worker spare, which means that... I can't create another Ankylosaurus right now because I don't have another green. So I'm going to upgrade the paddock of the... What is it? The Albertodromius? Because I can make another one of those. It means I'm going to have... A lot less money going into the next round, but yeah, that's going to be. So we need to spend any two DNA. We don't need pink for anything else yet, so I think I'm going to spend two of that. And so now we have another one of those dinosaurs. Brilliant. But the threat level does go up again, so is that okay? Three plus another two? Absolutely fine. Oh, actually, checking up on myself, there will already have been a subtitle. The green text just happens once when you buy the tile. Yeah, I thought that was a bit powerful, but yeah, so I've, I'm still okay on the security. We also need to update our excitement level. So we've added a one excitement and a two excitement, so our excitement's gone from one to four. Which means we're going to be attracting four visitors right now. Let's see who we get then. Hopefully no hooligans. One, two, three, four. Oh, that was five. <laughs> Then being fair, I'm leaving the hooligan in. So the hooligan does not earn me any money, but the three patrons do. So that's $3 from them. And then, annoyingly, you have to assign the hooligan first. So he has to go on a ride. We can set another patron there because there's two dinosaurs there now. One can go and look at that dinosaur, and one can go and look at some hats, which scores a point as well. And we've already worked out that the threat level is going to be 3 plus 2 from the die. It's going to match my security level so nobody gets eaten, so I'll give myself three points. So we're now on 24. I think, though, I've let myself down on objectives. Maybe I should have just bought two lab upgrade tiles and not worried about any of the other upgrades. But yeah, I didn't earn $8 from patrons. I haven't got one of each type. Didn't, I haven't got three lab upgrades. Didn't make three dinosaurs. I made two. 
Create dinosaurs of three different species. I've just got one different species, not including my starting. Build three merchandise attractions. No. So I think well, I have to get rid of one then because I didn't do them. So I'm going to get rid of the mer three merchandise attractions. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. So we move on to round three then where everything's worth seven points. Okay then, so we're back in for round three. And there we go, loads of light blue. Oh, I can get another worker as well. Let's w watch the AI take that away. So it's going to be just die number one. And it's the one with three pips on it. Brilliant. Uh, and then it takes away dinosaur two and three. So I'm not getting any new species. Uh, and then I'll get rid of the tiles that it's taking. So I think I'm going to go for the Stegosaurus because it's essentially it's a free paddock as well. And I do want a load of different species. And who doesn't want a Stegosaurus in the park? Another worker would be nice. You can get that by going on here. You have to use your three to get that, though. I think, yeah, I am really... I've, I've got three dollars, so I'm not buying much in phase two. I think I'm going to get myself another worker with my three. And then I will just use the two on the light blue to max that out. I was going to just get the three light blue, but I can use my lab manager's ability once per round. Increase cold storage capacity by one. So there we go. So I can completely max it out and not waste any. So for threat purposes, security is going to be too high. The threat is going to be too high, so my security is going to need to be. So in phase two, all of these things look excellent. I only have three dollars, though. I think I'm going to pass, which you can do to get two dollars if you can't or don't want to take an action. So I'm going to forego one of my actions and then I'm going to get this DNA refinement too. So it covers up my original, but means I can do it up to three times in a round rather than just once. Now we move on to phase three then. I think we absolutely need some money. We're going to get five money from those two. I'm trying to make three dinosaurs and I don't think that I can. If we can get eight dollars from patrons, that would be great if we could attract enough people in. Let's think about, first of all, let's get some green DNA so we can make a Stegosaurus. So that's going to be a light blue and a dark one. And then and the Stegosaurus costs a light blue, a purple, and a green, which I just made and didn't give myself. So yeah, we're back down to zero on green. So that gives me a Stegosaurus, which is another on the threat level. But two more on the excitement level. So we're at six on there now. Forgot to place my worker for creating a dinosaur, but I've done that now. So yeah, I'm not going to have enough workers to do everything that I want. I think we should make another green, because green is the most useful to me. There we go. I don't really want get, to get just one money. I've got this five money. I should probably... Yeah, this threat level's too higher, isn't it? I could just treat it as one higher, but I think I'm going to pay three and actually increase it. Well, I would just like more paddocks. So I've got two left over there. And that's my phase three. In phase four, my excitement level is six, which you can see from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so let's see who's coming to the park. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Just one hooligan, unfortunately. So that's gonna be $5 from the honest paying customers. And then we need to seat them. Have I got spaces for everybody? I don't think that I have. No, unfortunately, my excitement level doesn't uh, match my capacity because one person is just left at the entrance, not able to go on anything. So I'm going to get four points from the visitors. That's going to put me on 28. Looking at the objectives, I think I failed again. Yeah, buy three lab upgrades is so close. I don't want to get rid of that. Three different species is close. Three dinosaurs in a single round. That might be, I might be wasting my time trying to do that. Eight dollars from patrons is going to happen really soon. An attraction of each type might be impossible. Well, it's not impossible, is it? We still have got, you know, four rounds after this. I have to get rid of one, though, because I'm not uh, achieving one. 
I think, an attraction of each type. That's going to come too late. The other things, I think, I think they're all achievable. But, yeah, we want them as soon as possible for the most points. It's only worth a point to achieve one in round seven. So we're going to be moving on to round four. I'll do all of the special stuff. I'm just realizing now I didn't do the plot twist at the end of year two, did I? So I can either have a security level upgrade, paddock capacity upgrade, or gain any two basic DNA. So I think I'm going to retroactively give myself two basic DNA. I wouldn't have chosen that. I would have chosen the security, I think. But yeah, I think that's the least, uh, that makes the least difference that I didn't take that one. And then I can increase my storage limits of a single DNA type. I think let's keep going with light blue yeah yeah just by one i don't know why i was moving it more than one there we oh yeah because i've got two years worth haven't i yeah let's just keep doing light blue okay then we're all reset and ready for the next round let's see what we've got some nice dna there we've got oh an advanced dna for the first time don't particularly need yellow unless i maybe get a velociraptor well, the Gigantosaurus, look at all of that advanced DNA that that needs. They're worth seven points each at the end of the game, though. I can't see that happening, though. Okay, what's going to be taken away from me? Wow, three dice. Okay, then, so one, three, five. That's a shame. So I don't want that yellow DNA. I can use it as a worker, though. I can move my scientist to be a worker. And then dinosaur number one, which is probably what I would have taken. And then I'll sort out the tiles. Okay, I think I'm not going to get a new type of dinosaur just yet. I'm going to increase my cold storage by two. I'm going to pass with scientist one. And I'm going to use this three to get six blue, because I'm going to have the capacity for it in a second. And you'll see right now. So I can have two upgrades to my cold storage. I will do one, two. And let's do my once per round one. We might as well. I'll... Let's just keep doing basic. And my one scientist comes over into my worker pool. I'm not sure if you can see that. Okay, then. Phase two. I think we definitely need something from the middle here. I can't afford that Giga Coaster. That costs 11. So seven, even if I passed once, I can't afford that coaster, unfortunately. Same goes for the first aid station. I can afford Jurassic World. It would be all of my money. I'm just thinking we're not going to have... It's, it's points we're missing out on by not having places for the people to go. I think I'm going to go for these two. So this one, upgrade paddock capacity or increase your security level by one at a discount. That seems worth having. Even if, if you use it twice in the, in the round that you get it, it's paid for itself at $3. And that's my third lab upgrade. So I'm happy with that. And then with my... What would I like? Mr. Manager gives me two extra workers. Or... Oh, it's HR Manager. <laughs> Mr. Manager was the joke I made in my head when I drew the card. Uh, gain any basic DNA at the start of the round. That's tempting as well. But I think... I think having the HR manager. So that's going to be another three. So I've got one dollar left. You can have up to three specialists, by the way. Moving on to phase three, then. I'll just grab my workers. So we have a lot of workers this round. OK, we definitely want to increase capacity. So at a two discount, I basically go from capacity one to two for free. And let's do that for say the stegosaurus oh yeah create three dinosaurs in a single round i need an upgrade that lets me do that why have i kept that objective around i can only make two dinosaurs okay that was daft yeah maybe i should have put all my money into jurassic world instead so we want let's get some money three money Let's make another Stegosaurus. So that's going to be a green, a purple, and a light blue. Actually, we're going to run out of DNA, aren't we, to be able to get loads of dinosaurs? There we go. So threat goes up. 
There is actually no pips on the die that's remaining, so the threat level is just what our threat level is for this round anyway. Excitement level goes up by two. We could increase the paddock size again. For this one? Yeah, for this. Yeah, e either one. I think the Stegosaurus would be better for the DNA that we've got right now. Yeah, so that just. So going from size two to three costs three coins. So with my one discount, it's just going to cost me two. And so that gets upgraded already. Then we can refine DNA, so the blues turn into a green. We can create a dinosaur, so that's light blue, last purple, and a green, to get a third Stegosaurus. That puts the threat level up to six. And I think I'm not going to worry about security right this second, because I can't afford it anyway. But uh, I'm going to get two more cash. Oh, and I want to have my scientist. So we could get one more cash. But I think I'm going to refine DNA again. Let's get another green ready for next round. So a light blue, dark blue gets me a green. Okay, then in phase four, we have 10 excitement level, 10 visitors. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. One hooligan. Not too bad. So that's going to be $9. So that's, that's an objective. But we 100% do not have places for everyone to go to to earn points. We have one, two, three. And just the one there. So three people couldn't get on anything. But that is still one, two, three, four, five, six points. So that puts us from 28 to 34. For objectives, we have three lab upgrades and we earned $8 from patrons in a single round, which means it's round four. So five points for each, that's another 10. So we jump to 44 and I don't have to discard any. Then for the plot twists, we can increase the cold storage limit by one. I'm going to do that on dark blue and I can either increase the security level, paddock capacity or any two basic DNA. I think security. Yeah. Okay, then on to round five. Okay, it's taken five rounds, but we finally have some money behind us. So, what do we have? Quite, quite poor roll there. And what's going to be taken away? I bet I'm going to be left with the worker. Yeah. <laughs> worker that I don't need. I've got all my workers unlocked. Dinosaur number three. And then I do the tiles. Was that even on camera properly? I do apologize. The board was. The dice are higher than it, aren't they? So that's what I've got. So I really wanted a lot of DNA. I still have a lot of light blue DNA. I don't really need that much more of it, but I don't really need much more cold storage either. I think I'm going to go for three on the dark blue. Two on the light blue, knock all the dinosaurs over, and bring him back with me as a worker. So three on the dark blue, two on the light blue. Really need some purple there. Okay, so we do have a bit of money. We have 13 money now. And I really want to get Jurassic World there. But I think the most important thing for me to do, if I want to be able to create three dinosaurs, Maybe I shouldn't worry about that. Yeah, let's go for a ride. Jurassic World is six. I'm not going to worry about making three uh, dinosaurs. And then I think I'm going to pay $3 to gain any three basic DNA. And I'm just going to gain purple. And so I have to discard something from the three row. Okay, then. so this is where we are. Workers falling all over the place. Maybe I should have gotten a species of dinosaur instead of bringing the scientist over here. Yeah, probably should have. It's a bit late for that, though. So we want some money, don't we? Let's get three money. I'll put my money up here, actually. I've got seven now. Then we want to upgrade a paddock, I think. So I'm going to do the Stegosaurus. So it would normally cost four. So it's just going to cost me two instead to upgrade that capacity. 
And this is the maximum capacity for. As you can probably tell from the four spaces that are on the enclosure tile. But there we go. So there's room for one there. Oh, we, we are going to have one extra threat from the dice. So I have to bear that in mind. So we do have the DNA, so let's make a Stegosaurus. So that's going to be light blue, purple, green. And so our fourth Stegosaurus can come in there. We could do the paddock capacity of the Ankylosaurus. So that normally costs two with a one discount. It just costs one. There we go. And then we can refine DNA. We need a green. So that's going to be light blue, dark blue, turn into a green and then create another dinosaur. And that's going to be light blue, dark blue, green. The threat goes up twice though, so we're going to need some security. Our excitement does go up by four though. It's going to cost five for security, so I'm going to have to get the money first. I could just do it temporarily. But then what am I going to use the money for? Yeah, let's just do it for real. Get two money, and then we spend five, so we're going to have one left over to increase the security. There we go. So the threat level is going to get increased by one. Security can handle it. We don't have to worry about that in phase four. So our excitement level now is 14. Definitely not going to have that space for people, are we? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's, that's pretty good odds, really, isn't it? Just two hooligans there. So that's going to be $12. And then where can they go? So the hooligans have to be placed first, so let's get them out of the way. And then we have space for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not too bad. So nine points, which puts us on 53. So I'm going to have to get a plus 50. Uh, I'm just going to put it up here. There we go. Objectives, we didn't do either of these. I've kind of given up on them, though. <laughs> They're only going to be worth a couple of points, so I'll just discard one of them. And, and I'd already lost the bonus of... Uh, you get 10 points, I think, if you go through all of the objectives if you don't discard any, and I'd already lost some, so yeah, less incentivized to carry on uh, doing them at this point. For the plot twists then, I can increase my storage limit, let's just do the purple one, and I'm going to upgrade my security for free because it's now absolutely the most expensive thing always, it always costs five from now on. Okay then, round six, what's going to happen? Oh, very low DNA amount and no purple again. Could get ourselves a yellow though. There is the Velociraptor wants yellow. Still wants purple though. And what's going to get taken away from me? We have three and four, so the yellow. <laughs> Always get left with a worker. So then dinosaur number one. And I'll sort out the tiles. So what do we want then? Oh, I can't even have the dark blue. Hmm. Maybe we should just go for T-Rex. Yeah, I'm going to use my three scientist on a T-Rex. Let's use my two on this one with the two pips on it for the threat and to get um, four light blue DNA. And then bring my one as a worker yet again. In phase two, I'm going to need some DNA for that T-Rex. So I'm going to pay $5 to gain any two advanced DNA. I think I'm going to go for uh, red because I need that for the T-Rex. What does red... How do you upgrade red, though? Red is purple and light blue. I do have purple, but it needs a purple for the main thing anyway. I'm going to get a red and a green anyway. And I have to discard something from the row. Let's do the little thing that gets me a worker. I don't care about getting workers. And now it's tempting to get the transmogrifier that would let me exchange one or two DNA for one or two other DNA of the same rarity. But I think we're going to pay three to get any any three basic DNA, and I'm just going to get dark blue. And let's discard something from here. Although that does mean that it's kind of another place 
I'm missing out on, say, the fun house there, where I would have more place for guests. Because the T-Rex excitement is three. We need that DNA, though. We can't cope without uh, having that DNA. Phase three, then. We're going to need the refined DNA to get another green. So that's going to be this, this to get a green. Then we can get a dinosaur by spending blue, purple, two greens, and a red. We now have a T-Rex, but that puts our threat up by two. The dice are going to push the threat up by one, so we definitely need some more security. Let's see, can we make, I think we can make another green. And then if we upgrade the paddock, so it would normally cost three for the Ankylosaurus. It's going to cost one in this case. And get another capacity for it. Then we can get another dinosaur. So light blue, dark blue, green. And get another one of those. So that's another two excitement. Way too much excitement and not enough space for the visitors. We're going to need security. So let's get a one discount on that. So it's going to cost five minus one. So four to go up to 11. That's what this is for, I believe. Did I do the threat for the Ankylosaurus? We should have two, five, nine, eleven threat. No, I didn't. So we're still going to need a security. Security costs five. So we can get three money there. And then we can spend five on security and we have enough. Okay. That's what we're going to have to do. Okay, I can tell you now the excitement level has reached 19. So that is a lot of people coming into the park. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. There are there are three hooligans in the bag. So yeah. I've got two of them there. So that's 19 and two are hooligans. So that's going to be 17 money. And then let's see. We have space here. We have two on Jurassic World. We have three there. And we have four there. So that's going to be two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven 10, 11 points. And we have dinosaurs of three different species. So let's have that as well now. So that's going to be 11 plus 2, 13 points. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 16 points now. No, not 16, plus 50, 66. Clickety click. For the plot twists, I am going to raise security again. And then I think rather than the limits, I'm just going to get two basic DNA because I'm worried about just not getting any. Let's have... Yeah, let's have one of each. Okay, then it's the final round. What can we roll now? Eh, there's some purple at least. Well, for now. Let's, uh, let's not assume. And what's getting taken away? <laughs> the purple and the light blue. Dinosaur number two. And then I'll take those away. Okay, then I think I'm going to... I'm going to increase with my free increase. I'm going to increase my blue capacity. So I've got six space for it. And then I'm going to use my two scientist. So two times three is six dark blue. So I'm at my max of there of eight. Maybe I should get the place Saurus. And then I could get the yellow DNA. No, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to bring both of these in as workers, I think. Okay, over here, I think I'm going to buy the any two advanced DNA for five. And I'll get a red and a green. Probably get another Stegosaurus. So I have to discard something from here. And... I could just do that again. And I think I'm going to pay eight, actually, for this sunglasses hut. At some points... 
It's not an extra place for guests to go, unfortunately. Phase three then, let's make a T-Rex. So we need green for that. We need an extra green, so that's gonna be that and that. We might run out of light blue. That'd be a shame. And then get the dinosaur, so that's gonna be light blue, purple, green, green, red. Oh, we need to do the paddock first. So uh, free paddock, because it's cost two and it's at a two discount. And so the new one comes in, bumping our threat by two. Threat on the dice is gonna be one. So we're gonna to have to think about security. But uh, yeah, the excitement's gonna be really high. It's at 22 now. We can surely do the Ankylosaurus. So we need Paddock at one discount. Three to four is four money. So with my one discount, it'll cost me three. Get two back. And upgrade this. Then we need to make another green. So that's light blue, dark blue, turns into green. Make the Ankylosaurus. Oh, we might not have security for this. This might not be the best idea. Get ready for some take backs. I realize I was wrong. There's another one of those. And the threat needs to go up, doesn't it? So we need two security, really. And I can't afford any security, so we're going to have to get three money, and then we'll spend that three and this two, five altogether, on another security level. And then we can put our final worker here, and then our security is treated as plus one for this round. So that basically negates the die that's going to bump the threat level at one more, and no one's going to die. We should get some kind of reward for the, going the whole game, no one's died. Now, though, we have 24, which I think, I think there's 22 patrons and three uh, hooligans. So maybe I should just pour them all out and take one back. But let's, let's do it properly. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23. <gasps> yeah, there's only two meeples left in here. Am I getting the hooligan or the patron? If it's the patron, it's going to look like I've cheated. No, it was the hooligan. There you go. That's how honest I am. So 24, three of them were hooligans. That's going to be 21 money. And then let's just do how many spaces are there? Minus three for the hooligans. So that's going to be two, four, five, seven, 11, 15. Three would be taken up by hooligans, so that's going to be 12 points. 10, 11, 12, so that's 28. So it's the end of the game, so we need points for our attractions. You basically multiply the number of dinosaurs by their value on here. So we have 7, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 31, 32. And then the other attractions are worth the points written on them, so 34. 37. Money is exchanged 5 to 1. So that's 38, 39, 40, 41 more points. So I'll give myself a 50 and knock 9 points off. So the final score, 119. I don't get the 10 because I didn't get through the game without discarding anything. Is that a good solo score? What's your solo score? I don't know. It sounds big. 119. Anyway, this is just an example of how Dinosaur Island works. I'm waving my hands and you can only see the victory points, can't you? <laughs> Thank you for watching this. I hope you found it interesting and gave you some idea as to whether you'd be interested in Dinosaur Island. If you'd like to know what I think of the game, there'll be a link somewhere. I hope my finger is going in the right place. I can't see the screen right now. Anyway, you can hear what I think on that video. And thank you for watching this one. There's hundreds on this channel. You can find another one you like, probably. Thanks for watching this one, though, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye, everyone.